Richard Rogers was born June 28, 1902 in Long Island, New York in their family summer home. Richard started to pick up music on their family piano. After a while, he could play the piano like a professional. Rogers met Hammerstein backstage at a play his brother took him to. Little did they know they would soon work together to write amazing plays. Oscar Hammerstein II was born July 12, 1895. Oscar was born into the world of musical theater with many of his closest relatives being actors and directors. At age nine, Hammerstein started piano lessons. Six years later, his mother passed away. When it was time to attend college, he went to Columbia University Law, but soon realized this was not his calling and became emerged in the theater. Before the two started to work with each other, they had other people they would write shows with. Rogers worked with Larry Hart, but Larry's heart was deeply affected by alcoholism, and Rogers knew that he wouldn't last too long. This is when Rogers and Hammerstein joined forces to create amazing musicals we all know and love. The first musical that the two created was Oklahoma, which was a huge success. This musical was not only innovative because of its plot, but the music was very different from what you normally would have seen during this time. Oklahoma is the story that takes place in Western Indian Territory and shows the rivalry between local farmers and cowboys. But amidst the rivalry, two people fall in love, Curly, who is a cowboy, and Lori, who is a farmer. This story shows the ups and downs of the two's relationship. These two lovebirds want to spend the rest of their lives together in a new state. Another play that is performed all over is South Pacific. This story is set in the Pacific during World War II. It follows two couples and their journey of falling in love with each other. Some of their other musicals include Carousel, The King and I, and Flower Drum Song. The sound of music. This story was set in Austria in World War II. Unfortunately, this was the two's last production because Oscar passed away in 1966 due to cancer. At the end of their partnership, they managed to earn 60 awards, 42 Tony Awards, 15 Academy Awards, 2 Grammy Awards, Pulitzer Prizes, and Emmy Awards. After the passing of Oscar, Rogers continued to write for Broadway. No Strings was his first production and it won two Tony Awards for the music and the lyrics. These plays continue to be performed all over and are a huge part of our American culture that we will never forget.